are tuned to KGNU, and what we're going to play next is not a commercial. It's a reminder of a type of mineral supplement that many people assume will benefit their health. Calcium-rich Tums goes to work in seconds. Fights heartburn fast. As that Tums commercial points out, most people believe that calcium supplements are good for them. But there's a special kind of heartburn that calcium supplements just might be fueling. It's called a heart attack. A new study from the British Journal of Medicine warns that older men and women who take calcium supplements may be increasing their risk of heart attack around 30 percent compared to people who don't take the supplements. Often people take calcium pills thinking that it will reduce the risk of breaking bones. The authors of the new study point out that taking more calcium only reduces bone fracture by a marginal amount. They caution that the benefit of reducing bone fracture risk may be far outweighed by the likelihood of increasing heart attacks by using calcium supplements. The new study is being hotly contested by supplement manufacturers. One person who says it's a predictable result is Dr. Ron Rosedale, who's been speaking out against calcium supplements for years. Dr. Rosedale points out that often people who have thin bones have high amounts of calcium plaques in their blood vessels, a condition that is well known to increase the chance of heart attacks. People with thin bones can also have calcium deposits in their joints, for instance with arthritis. Dr. Rosedale says when calcium is going in the wrong places like this, it's a sign that the body's confused and it's hormone signaling. For more, here's Dr. Rosedale. That should have been predicted by basic calcium physiology. Really, Calcium 101 would have predicted that taking extra calcium supplements in most people would be detrimental to their health. And I would have predicted, and I have for a couple of decades, that would probably lead to increased mortality. And uh, some studies in Sweden, actually, uh, over a decade ago, found that also. And the reason for it is several-fold. Paradoxically, calcium is so important for cellular signaling that the inside the cell, the intracellular calcium concentration, has to be kept extremely low and extremely accurate so that it can be detected properly. If there's too much calcium in the cell, it's very detrimental to the functioning of individual cells, but in particular to the functioning of cell signaling that integrates 15 trillion cells into a cohesive whole. And that's the problem with it. Calcium is called a second messenger in most hormonal signaling. So hormones tell a cell what to do, and they change the way genes are expressed, which essentially makes you who you are. In this case, whether you have heart disease or whether you don't, and actually whether you live or die. And when cells have too much calcium within the cell, cell biologists know that they're sick. And it's one of the hallmarks of cellular aging. The inside to outside cell ratio is in the neighborhood of 1 to 15 to 20,000. In other words, the inside concentration of calcium is much less than the exterior environment of a cell. And that's true not just in humans, but that's true in all life. So as life evolved, it evolved with extremely low inside-the-cell calcium concentrations. And cells have devised means, very intricate and important means, to keep that concentration extremely low. And in some cells, one of the major reasons that you even have to eat and that you utilize energy is to fuel the pumping of calcium out of cells. Well, Ron Rosedale, are you saying that our bodies work harder to get calcium out of our cells than they do to take it in? Oh, much harder. It's extremely important to work to keep calcium outside of the cell and to have a very low concentration of calcium inside the cell. Otherwise, the cell cannot function properly. And if you're a bone cell, for instance, one of the proper workings is to build bone. And cells cannot function properly if they have too much calcium inside the cell. So paradoxically, those people taking all these calcium supplements are actually impeding their ability to build protein matrix, the actual foundation and the framework of bone, which is actually protein, which gives bone its strength and flexibility. So calcium doesn't build strong bones in the first place. That's, that's a really wrong premise. Calcium makes bones harder. They mineralize bone, but 
being mineralized and being harder does not necessarily equate to bone strength. So, uh, you can kind of picture a, a young, flexible, green tree versus an old oak tree, and who's going to survive the hurricane? And little babies have very strong bones that are bendable. We used to do that in medical school. Bend the forearm of a baby. It wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't break. And they have stronger bones than you or I because they're flexible. But if they did a bone density study, it would show a horrible case of osteoporosis. There's so many falsities that have to do with health in general, especially having to do with nutrition. We've talked about cholesterol in the past and, and diabetes. Osteoporosis and calcium is just another one. That's Dr. Ron Rosedale talking about why he thinks it's predictable that calcium supplements designed to make thin bones stronger would increase the risk of heart attacks. His comments today are in response to a British Journal of Medicine report that calcium supplements can increase the risk of heart attacks by 30%.